I'm not surprised that Scorpio is giving us juicier posts. <laughs> oh, hey, it's still up there. But this yeah. one with 4K upvotes, we've got to we've got to start here. Am I the asshole for what I said about my housemates' beliefs? As an Aries, I fully say that Aries can be assholes. Oh, absolutely. Those fire signs, you know, they really are spicy. Okay, so background. I, 25M, share a house with my childhood best friend, Liam, 25M, and his partner, Holly, 26F. She's really into the, all this new age spiritual stuff. Recently, my brother, Paul, 27M, finally got off a very long abusive relationship. Much of the abuse was financial, meaning when my brother left his husband, he was basically penniless and jobless. He came to stay with us while he gets his himself sorted out. So that brings us to now. Holly has been kind of weird since Paul moved in. Not necessarily mean, just kind of cold, I guess, which is unusual for her. She's very standoffish with Paul. And it's not like he's constantly hounding her for conversation. He mostly keeps to himself, to be honest. But if they're in the same room at the same time, of course he'll try to talk to her and be polite. And she's very monosyllabic if she responds at all. There have also been more crystals and incense appearing around the house, which is kind of just annoying because they take up room on surfaces. Paul has mentioned to me that it bothers him that she's this way when we all live together, that she makes him really uncomfortable when she ignores him and he's constantly wondering if he's done something to upset or offend her, but is afraid to ask. He's taken to just staying in his room whenever she's home so they don't have to interact at all. I don't want this to be the direction that it's going, but we're gonna fucking see. Holly was on a group video call having drinks with her friends three nights ago. She was in the dining room with the door open and making no effort to be quiet. And so I heard her complaining to her friends how hard it was to have to live with a Scorpio in the house. How she wished I'd given her a heads up about his sign before I let him move in. <laughs> and how <laughs> and how the whole place has been, quote, drained of positive energy now. She made some comments about Paul, which were completely unfounded and inaccurate but I assume are tropes of what a Scorpio is like. It all made sense after that, that she was being cold with Paul and not even trying to give him a chance purely because of her preconceptions about his fucking star sign of all things. I got pretty miffed, I won't lie. After Holly got off the call, I confronted her, asking if she really refuses to even try with my brother because of when his birthday is. She was a bit taken aback and tried to explain why, as an Aquarius, it's hard for her to live with a Scorpio. I don't understand horoscopes. I don't know what they mean. Um, I think they're fun to look into. I think they're uh, interesting. Um, I'm not going to absolutely shoot the fuck down if someone uses that to like navigate their life. Maybe it's a part of their religion. I don't know. This seems like it's a little too far though. If you are uh, a horoscope enjoyer, a hardcore horoscope enjoyer, is this far? Is this too far? She was a bit taken aback and tried to explain why as an Aquarius, it's hard for her to live with a Scorpio. That kind of pissed me off more. And I said, that's bullshit, Holly. It's all bullshit. You're freezing out someone who needs warmth just because you buy into bullshit. She stormed off and so did I. Now things are tense in the house. Liam said I'm an asshole and had no right to insult Holly's beliefs like that. Holly just isn't speaking to me and Paul is stressed out because there's conflict he feels like he caused. I'm starting to regret saying anything at all. Was I an asshole for this? Childhood best friend Liam and his partner Holly. Yeah, oh, my brother. Oh, that's why Liam is backing her up so hard. There, that's, oh, yeah. that's his partner. And yeah, the, the Scorpio yeah, is my OP's brother, brother. Paul. So yeah. it kind of made, and like who has just gotten out of a very bad situation. So I can see how OP is a little bit on edge. Religion slash beliefs does not give you permission to hate someone. Right. Real, real as hell. Judge someone yes. based on their actions, not their birthday. You know, do we think OP is the asshole for 
the way he went about confronting Holly. Not the asshole, it's silly as fuck to hate someone over their birthday and not even give them a chance. Right, okay. All right, we're going. We're, we're closing this dicky. Not the asshole. A little shitty, but justified though. Who's so we next? did Scorpio. Uh, I'm an Aries and that's the only sign that I know that I am in my chart. Oh, Whoa. Mm -hmm. we're getting, I need to put Aries in quotes because we're getting uh, a lot of hits on the word boundaries. Who knew? This one's no. gonna be really quick, but it might, it might drop your fucking jaw on the floor. <sighs> Oh, right. This would be your read, wouldn't it? You don't want to read this, do you? I certainly don't. Thank you. <laughs> Especially I'll read given it. the Capricorn INFJ shit earlier. I'll read it. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, new yeah, prediction. We We're not going to do bing hole squares after this. And once I read it, you're going to understand why. Um, am I the asshole for refusing to call my unborn nephew by, <laughs> by his name? Wait, is Aries even in here? I don't think so. Nope. We got documentaries. We really got thrown off track, but yeah, this, this still is not is... A, this is not an Aries post. Just so you know, am I the asshole for refusing to call my unborn nephew by his name? It's Arian. Not Arian, Arian. We're Mexican. <laughs> A R Y A N. I told my sister how fucked her name choice is on the DL after she announced. She refused to listen. I've emphasized how she's screwing over her kid. She just keeps insisting that it's cute, and her and the dad came up together and they couldn't agree on any other names. I refused to call the kid that. I told her I'd call him Ari or Air or something. Maybe it is pronounced Aryan. Uh, she said, fine, but I was being a bitch. Am I the asshole? Edit, she got the name from a Game of Thrones character, Arya. Aryan is still pronounced like Aryan race though. Nope. Uh... No. No. This is my son, genocide supporter. Wait, why are you running away? God. Oh, it's so bad. It's so. And literally, she was confronted like, hey, maybe this isn't a great name to choose. And they were just like, no, fuck you. And it's so polite that her sister was like, hey, on the down low, like, like not like embarrassing. Hey, just so you publicly. know. Like, right. hey, like, do you not know? Oh, word. Yeah, maybe we'd, we'd just do a different astrological sign. Uh, these people sucked. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> no, this is perfect, actually. This That's is incredible fun. in every possible way. All right, we're gonna, yep, we're doing this one. Will I be the asshole for uninviting my maid of honor for being jealous and undermining me? <laughs> This is rather urgent because the wedding is so soon and I'm terrified that I'm being a bridezilla. So outside perspective would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Apologies in advance for typos and swearing. I'm very emotional. Oh my word. My 26 F maid of honor 29 F has been an older sister figure to me since I was in diapers. I go to her for advice and she would frequently tell me things I needed to hear before she, before I knew I needed to hear them. She's wise, but stubborn a major Taurus. And that's how we got here. She's wise, but stubborn, a major Taurus. The issue involves another bridesmaid, 21M. He's the one who introduced me to my future hubby. Don't like that word. He's been <laughs> a huge hubby. emotional... <laughs> <laughs> He's been a huge emotional support for me. 
<coughs> and is one of the most polite, gentle, and sensitive people in my life. He's a cis man who is gender non-conforming, but possibly the most feminine creature on the planet, and I asked him to be a bridesmaid. He cautiously accepted, constantly expressing concerns that his existence in the role could complicate things. I don't give a fuck. I told him he could wear a suit that matched the color of the bridesmaid's dresses, or he could wear a bridesmaid's dress, whichever he preferred. And he told me whichever made me happier. FYI, I pressed about this issue to ensure he was truly comfortable either way. So he's gonna be in a dress. Issue started the day he accepted the offer. My maid of honor immediately started bombarding me with concerns, including ones that felt like she was trying to gaslight me. Example, you know how passive he is. He would stand up there in a dress and suffer in silence if it made you happy. He wouldn't want to ruin your big day. Oh. What? I thought this was... What's the problem here? Where is... Yeah, this is... Be- I don't know where this could even be going. And then we're taking a hard turn. Enter the bachelorette party slash weekend trip. The day before the flight... A flight? That's a whole other can of worms mm-hmm. for that. Oh, the no. day before the flight, the previously mentioned male bridesmaid cancels and profusely apologizes to me without ever giving me a solid reason. He's a terrible liar, and I could tell something Uh-oh. was off. Uh-oh. But I didn't have time to look into it. Once we returned, I turn into a military level interrogator. <laughs> he looked like a deer in headlights and said that my maid of honor talked him out of going and was talking him into dropping out of the wedding, saying things like she, the OP, would never tell you if it made her uncomfortable. Even though I asked him, all caps and bold, then he burst into tears. Wow! Yeah, it's gotta be. That's gotta be some homo- homophobic bullshit coming from Miss Taurus over here. My maid of honor defends herself by saying, "You'll look back and thank me for this." For being a bigot. And how she quote knows what's best for me. I don't know why she would do this. Maybe she's just a bigot, or she's jealous that he looks like more of a woman than she does. Ooh. But he's almost a decade younger than her, and I mean this as no offense to him, but she is way smarter than he is. (laughs) Femboy himbo, let's go! Femboy himbo! God gave him heart where he should have given him brains. (laughs) So she had to know what she was doing. She basically planned this whole wedding, but she didn't spend a dime except taking days off work, which I will gladly reimburse. I've considered demoting her to bridesmaid or just a regular guest, but I'm currently in the mood of just cutting her out of the wedding of my life entirely. Is that an appropriate response? Oh yeah, get rid of her, kick her out. We stand femboy himbos here. Absolutely. They make her a bridesmaid, make him the maid of honor. She'll leave herself. Real. So our Taurus hole was not the asshole. We're good. What's our next astrological sign? Someone asked if Pisces was done next. Do we want to try Pisces? Yeah, why not? Yup. Oh, there's Uh so much Pisces uh in here. Uh 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 Am I the asshole for calling a girl disrespectful, rude, and to look in the mirror? So my group of friends, 18M, were introduced to another friend group through mutual friends. We all clicked together except for this one girl. Let's call her Amy. OP fucking hates Amy. So Amy has some kind of obsession with horoscopes where she instantly asks you about your zodiac sign and then judges you immediately. I don't have any problems with horoscopes. It's just that I have little to no knowledge about them. We were all having lunch together when she starts asking everyone about their horoscopes. So she asks all of us and it reaches my friend, let's call him Trevor. So she asks him and he says he's a Pisces. She didn't say anything until Trevor excused himself to use the bathroom. And then she says, ew, he's a Pisces. In front of everyone and that she'd never date a Pisces. I was dumbfounded and surprised. So him being my friend and I decided to defend him and ask her why she said, ew. And that's a rude comment to make. And she says that being a Pisces is disgusting. Being a Pisces is disgusting. Like you have a choice of when you're born? Idiot, why didn't you just choose a better month to be born? 
loser. You're disgusting. You're actually. disgusting. How dare you? So I, being a Pisces, tell her that just a moment ago, you asked me and I told you I'm a Pisces. Why did you say nothing to me? But you said, ew, to my friend. And she says, well, at least it's pleasant to look at you and not him. Oh, this ain't, this ain't about signs, is it, girl? I was really pissed off because she went on a rant how he's short and losing hair and his height and appearance have nothing to do with his horoscope. But she said that it actually does? Wh what? Ew. To ew. To her. <laughs> ew to her. You're judging people and using horoscopes as an excuse and validation for you being an absolute shitty piece of shit person? Ew. Can someone explain that if you know anything about horoscopes? So I told her that she's rude, disrespectful, and that she should look in the mirror before leaving. She said that's really offensive and that I should leave. Eventually she didn't leave, so I waited for Trevor to leave the bathroom and left. I didn't tell Trevor what happened because he recently went through a breakup and I didn't want him to be touched by what she said. Some of my friends are saying that I overreacted and she was just messing around. Did we hear the same conversation? Oh my God, she's joking. Uh, Jokes are supposed to be funny, babes. Yeah, what's the joke? What's the joke? Yeah, Where's what's the, the joke humor? here? Can you explain how this was a joke in any way and not just someone being a literal bully? She's literally just a bully. Uh, others of my friends are saying that I was right and it was good to put her in place. So am I the asshole? No, Amy was being a huge asshole. I'm glad that you stood up for your friend. Whoa. Oh no. Am I reading this one? This one's do very short, this? very quickie hole. It's not a whole lot of upvotes, but I'm curious. So fuck it, let's do it. You want to do this one, EP? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know when you're ready for me to talk a word. <laughs> Am I the asshole for pointing out my GF? She's not a funny person. Every now and then, my GF would stumble upon horoscope readings on her Twitter timeline. We both don't actually believe in it, but thought it would be fun just to see if it matches. Last night, my GF found one and shared it with me. One of the traits that her horoscope tells is that Sagittarius, her horoscope, are fun to be around with, and they can become really funny, especially in the worst situations. Generally, my GF is a fun person to be around with. She's a wonderful person, but she's not someone you would classify as a funny person. I jokingly exaggerated that point by saying that she's not a funny person in any situation, just that statement. No added points to back it up. After that, she basically doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah, no fucking shit, dude. Anyway, anyway, do you want to know more about this really yeah, mean person? Let's read, let's meet, read more about this whole. I apologize immediately and explained that it was a joke. She told me she was hurt by what I just said. She said that she knows that she's not a funny person. Oh, girl. But to hear me say it hurts her feelings. Now she's sulking and still doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. That's so sad. Just if she likes to, if she likes to browse Twitter and share things. Right. That seems pretty fun to me. Right literally sharing something with your partner like a fun little thing and you were just You've like heard about actually that, right? what, there's like a term for that where it's like a bid like it's like bidding your partner i thought it was like pebbling something that it's, i think we're thinking of the same thing yeah but it's like you were like oh my gosh look at this cool bird right they're like yeah. yeah that is a cool bird versus like i don't care about your stupid bird like you know like update we broke up <laughs> you're right you know? real all right, so that's the Sagittarius post. Let me pay that out. Uh, yes, you are the asshole. Sincerely. Let's go, Virgo. Let's go, Virgos. It's your time to shine. Let's go, Virgos. This sounds like it's going to be a really, really good setup bait and switch for how we got to the post. Am I the asshole for letting my roommate starve? For some context, my roommate, Jay, okay, I'm not doing single, single letter names. Um, my roommate, 
Jake. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? For context, my roommate Jake has a terrible habit of using people and honestly being a very manipulative person. Like, get away from that person. Like, yeah, just if this is reoccurring behavior, I just, we're one sentence in here and I'm like, mm. for example, when we would go out for food, she will magically forget her debit card or wallet, forcing either our other roommate who moved out or I, 21F, to pay. Jake would always promise she would pay us back, but ultimately never would. Jake would also never contribute to groceries, but eats everything in the kitchen, including certain snacks. Oh, A. A is another uh, roommate what's name. Their, what's their name? Um, Acute Angles. Not Aquarius. Breaking up! F you're so right. It's a, it's, it's Aquarium. Um, My beautiful name for a baby girl. <laughs> including certain snacks Aquarian and I would buy just for ourselves. When confronted on this behavior, Jake would get really defensive and yelling and complaining about how she is broke and can't believe how we are acting as friends. Yeah, that's grade A, like grade A manipulation stuff right there, easy. This has left our relationship very strained and I try not to interact with her if I can help it. I'm very cordial and nice to her. I just don't go out of my way to interact anymore. This month has been very hard on me due to the fact that my grandmother passed away and my mom ended up having a heart attack a couple days later. We took such a turn out of nowhere. What? OP, are you good? No, no, OP is not good. So between caring for my mom and planning grandma's funeral arrangements and balancing school, I've been back and forth between uni and my hometown five hour drive for the last couple weeks. Uh, I've only been back in our apartment for a couple days and now I have the flu. I feel absolutely awful. I've not bought myself groceries since I've been back because I'm sick, so I just go get food. I normally don't say anything or ask Jake when I go get food for the reasons above. Plus, I'm sick, I don't wanna get her sick. But if Jake asks if she can come with, we both go and I make clear we pay for our own food. This time was no different. I left and got something to eat and came back to Jake upset. She started going off how I didn't get her anything and I'm a terrible person to not think of her in her time of need. She wrecked her car. I don't feel good, so I just walked away to my room. I hadn't talked to Jake all day, so how would I know she was hungry? Since she has been on the phone with everyone she knows about how I'm an awful person for letting her starve and not thinking of her, am I the asshole? I'd like to know if that's the verbiage that Jake used, you know, right. like the, the high drama, or if this is like a high drama that OP is putting onto it. Right. That edit is interesting though. Yeah. Edit. She wrecked her car last month and has been getting around on her own just fine. I didn't know she wrecked her car until I came back. Jake also has to make every situation about herself, then blames her behavior on being a Virgo. And that's how we got here. There it is. If the story's true, no, you're not an asshole. There's no, there's no way you can be an asshole. She's Think literally the it. meme when girls crash their car. Oh, it's because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Imagine all of the comments were like, you're wrong actually. She's just doing her Virgo thing. How dare you? That's just how you Virgos know? are. Asshole. You are the asshole. Way to not understand. <laughs> the placement of the moon. Yeah, so uh, not the asshole, that's easy. Anyway, could you tell everyone who you are, where to find you and all that good stuff before we head out? Emma Pearl is the name. EP e is me also. It's such a pleasure to hang out with y'all. You're all wonderful. Um, You can find me at twitch.tv slash Emma Pearl. Emma Pearl! It's me. Uh, I'm really into mowing lawns lately. So if you're into that content, yeah, That's... Twitch.tv slash, it's a virtual lawn mowing. I'm not mowing a real lawn. I'm mowing a lawn on a video game. Um, and we are we make collaborative playlists while we do that. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it's a good time. Go follow EP. Thanks for agreeing to be on this with me. Um, I just want you to know that anytime I ask someone to be on the show, it's usually responded with, Beeps, what the fuck is hole inspector? What was what was your first thought? I just trusted you. 
It's because I'm as a like, Capricorn. I'm just so trusting. Literally, it's my trusting nature as a Capricorn. God damn it. I'll catch you later. We'll get you on another episode of Hole Inspector. Hopefully very soon. Hopefully very soon. Uh, good luck in your search for your short King Pisces. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I will see you all later. Have good times, days. Bye, EP. Who's me, princess? Let's fucking go Iridium Milk. Let's go Iridium Milk. Amazing. In fucking credible. Holy fuck. <laughs> the hello, dwarf. Dwarf, I have a gift for you. It's a scroll of your people. Oh, it reminds me of home. One day you'll have to tell me about the brev.